Good morning everyone. This is Ida with Created to Create. Welcome to my tea party. Uh, up next we have group nine guys. We're almost, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I think we only have about one more group that I can record and then I have to wait on more swaps. Anyway, this is group nine and starting us off this morning is Creative Sanctuary. Who Her name's Sherry, Miss Sherry. And she's starting us off this morning. And this is what her swap looks like. Um, Miss Sherry, you made one too many. Let me know what you want me to do with the extra one. And she created these. It looks like loaded envelopes. And then she adhered a uh, teapot in the front. And um, let me see if I can pick one up. And there's the back. She did add a goodie in the back. Uh, Miss Sherry did create one for me, so we'll be able to get into the swap. Also, uh, Miss Sherry does have a YouTube channel, so I will post her. Um, I will make sure that her link is in the description box below the video. Anyway, let me remove these, and I think everything is as it's supposed to be. I don't think anything fell out. I kind of counted the pouches, and it looks to be intact. And she did have these envelopes there. Um, I think there's only three envelopes though. And some uh, Hershey's that were in the box. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'm gonna open one of these because none of them are personalized. So I guess I can open one. It doesn't matter which one. So let's get into this. Uh, or I think. I, don't know, I think there was one that had my name on it as far as the cards go. Uh, let me make sure. It's not that one. Maybe it's this one. and Or maybe not. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. I don't see any extra ones. So I'm going to say they're all the same. I thought I had seen one that was had my name on it, but I can't seem to find it now. Yeah, no, I don't think any of them are personalized, so I'm going to share the card with you. This is what her card looks like, and she is just, uh, she made one for everyone. It says that she had a great time crafting, and she hopes that we enjoy Creative Sanctuary, uh, Sherry. So this is her card that she created with the envelope. I love the teapot. She embossed the teapot, guys. I hope you can see that. It's really pretty. And I guess the candy goes with each of the of the swaps. Anyway, this is what her swap looks like. And here is the back to it. And in the front, she added a teapot. It is a loaded, mini loaded envelope. She, she uh, created a tea. It looks like she uh, fussy cut this. I'm not sure. Or maybe it was a die cut. And she distressed it. And then she did distress the edges with like purple ink. Uh, maybe an ink pad. And it says, with God and enough caffeine, all things are possible. And then she's got a cluster of flowers right here. Let me bring you in some, guys. She does have a cluster of flowers right here with a satin bow underneath. She added a piece of trim right here. And then she's got a flat back pearl right here. So I, I can see right off the bat that she did make two wands for each of the packages have two wands in them. And she did it with a yellow paper. I don't know what uh, dye... Um, what edge punch or what she used here but it has hearts all the way around the perimeter then she added some eyelash trim in the center and then the little purple teapot with the little uh, bling in the center and both of these are exactly the same and they have a green straw there's the back to it so she added these I'm not sure if these are her embellishments part of her embellishments or not but we will find out okay here is her tag, guys, and uh, she all her bag toppers are green. She used this small bag topper. I have this die, and I absolutely love it. And let's get into her. Let's get into her swap. Okay. 
I think this is her tag, guys. Don't quote me. Uh, this might be her hanging element. Not sure because I see it's got a hanging element right here or a dangle. And she's got a little tea wooden teapot and a little wooden spoon. Uh, and then she's got some pearls in the pink and the white. And then here is her tag. She used that curved tag that we all like. And then she's got a die cut of a uh, very intricate uh, coffee cup or teacup up here. And then it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalms 34, 8. I absolutely love that. I have this. And then she's got a paper bow up here that has little hearts on it. And her hanging element is this organza with polka dots on it. And here is the back of her tag. So that is her tag. And I'm not sure what paper line she used because I, I, it doesn't look familiar to me. And then we had to have a bow. And I believe this is her bow. Here is her bow. She, um, it's like purple and it has like some gold polka dots and it's a very intricate uh, die cut and you can fluff this up with um, just kind of putting your fingers through it because um, you know in, in shipping and all that it gets kind of flat but there is her bow and it's a very deep purple so that's her bow and then we had to have embellishments and I'm not sure guys if these are her embellishments but it says she gifted me this one right here I, I can't read it there I have to put it on the back of this a cup of tea solves everything <laughs> yep so there's one like I said I'm not sure if that's an embellishment or and then the other is this teacup right here or just extra die cuts and it's a stacked teacups so there is that, but we will find out together. And then, let's see. This might be embellishment number three. Again, she has that green uh, bag topper, that little one. And, okay, let's see. I don't know, maybe these are her embellishments, guys. This one has a little fishtail pennant. It is a paper clip, an altered paper clip, and she's got some glittered uh, cardstock in the back. She's got this little teapot, and this teapot might come with this if I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think. And then it says tea time, and she's got this little resin uh, blue flower there. So that is a paper clip. And then she altered a clothespin, so these might be her embellishments. And she has a tea bag right here, and it says a hug in a cup. And she, the hanging element for the tea bag, you can hardly see it, but it's it's very pale pink uh, eyelash trim. And then she's got here's the tag to the tea bag, and she's got a little tiny rose right there. And of course, the the clothespin is is uh, painted in pink. So that, that might be embellishment number two, guys. I don't really know until I get into these swaps and go through them to really know uh, what's in them. So we had to have a bow. We had to have a tag. We had to have three embellishments. So I'm thinking this is one and this is two and three or the rosettes, whichever you, however you want to look at it because she's got several here. So I'm not sure which one was her main um was her main uh, embellish um, yes embellishments and then here is her her dangle right here and she again has that bag topper and it looks like she included um, I think there's a bag topper in here one or two she, there's two bag toppers in here uh, the same ones I'm not sure like I said the paper line but these you you it has the score lines right here on either end and uh, that way you know where to fold. So here are her two bag toppers, and then here is her um, her hanging, uh, her dangle, and we had to have a teddy bear somewhere in our swap, so this is where she added these uh, cute little teddy bears right here. These are super cute. They're made of like uh, maybe rubber or, um, I don't want to say silicone, but it kind of feels like they have a silicone back, and then she's got this yellow uh, tassel and then she's got the key ring up here. So here is her her dangle. Here are her 
bag toppers. And then she, let's see, a tag, a bow, embellishment, bag toppers, and the teddy bear. And her uh, tag, we had to have some kind of sentiment, so she does have it on her tag and one of her embellishments. And then she added an extra goodie for everyone. Um, it's, I'm gonna take it off the back. She added a unicorn frappe uh, mix. Hmm, the kids are gonna enjoy this. Uh, mix to the, uh, as a goodie for her swap. Oh yeah. <laughs> Emily's going to take it from you. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. So I think the kids are really going to enjoy this, and probably I will too because I love sweets. <laughs> and then here is her her mini loaded envelope while it's empty. That way you can, oh, oh, I'm, mi I'm missing something. See, she had an inner pocket behind the teapot, and she included some uh, teas, and here's like an additional tag. So she did include some teas. You know, I didn't do that in my swap. I didn't include any tea, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, but there's her pocket, guys. So she left it. She made it really roomy. And she's got just a rectangle backing. And then she has a gusseted pocket. And then she has an inner gusseted pocket right behind the teapot where the uh, teas go. So these just tuck right in here with, um, with the extra tag that she included. So that is Miss Sherry's uh, swap. Uh, thank you, Miss Sherry, for playing. Guys, make sure to show her some love. She is Creative Sanctuary here on YouTube. And again, I will post the link to her channel and um, in the description box. That way you can find her. Thank you for playing, Miss Sherry. Let's see who's next, guys. Don't go away. Guess who's here, you guys? Miss Brittany. Brittany Pochick. Um is next up on the lineup and I'm not sure if Miss Brittany has a um, a YouTube channel if she does I will link it in the description box or if we find the information in the swap so Miss Brittany you made an extra one and I believe I got in contact with you already if not please leave it in the comment uh, what you want me to do with your extra swap do you want me to send it back to you or just give it away um, so this is what her packaging looks like and she did do an Alice in Wonderland theme and she uh, put it all in a teapot but then she put the whole thing in a bag so nothing would migrate anywhere and this is what her swap looks like uh, let's see there's yeah she's got an extra one so see and that's what all her swaps look like they're pretty much the same there's the other one and she did create one for me, so we will definitely be able to get into the swap. And let me just take everything out of here. And let's see. Let's see. And I didn't find a card, so I'm not sure what her uh, channel name is. Because a lot of times the ladies, when they uh, send me a card, they will put their information on there. But I didn't see one in here, unless I'm missing something. Okay, she's got several things here. Let me just kind of get situated. Okay, right here is her card with her information. Her Instagram, her YouTube is, and Instagram is Brittany Pochick. And then she's got the, her theme is Alice tea, Alice's Tea Party. <laughs> so there's her information, guys. So let's get on with this swap. So she created a teapot, and I'm going to take some of these packages that I don't know if they're supposed to be glued on here or not but I don't want to I want to be able to to show you the teapot she created this teapot and um, here's her dangle guys right here she did a uh, variety of different laces and I mean trims and laces and then she's even got this leaf uh, little trim right here kind of to mimic the garden you know the Alice in Wonderland tea party and then she's got this little vial full of blue glitter very pretty and then she, like I said she's got different laces right here she has pearls and let me take it off so I can share it with you better and well what I want to share show you is that she's got it hanging from the tea spout See right there? And she reinforced it in uh, with a um, 
with one of those uh, hole reinforcers on the teapot so it wouldn't tear. But it's pretty sturdy, guys. Let me see if I can take it off. Well, maybe if I try with my right hand, right? Because I'm, I'm right-handed. Here is her charm, guys, and it's full of trim and, and um, lace. And she does have a little teacup right there. You see the little teacup and the little glitter vial? And she hung it on this swivel clasp in gold. So there is her hanging at her chunky charm. And then she here is the teapot that she created. And um, let me see if I can share everything with you because, you know, Alice in Wonderland has a lot of things in the paper line. She created this teapot, and I can see that she stitched it in a uh, metallic gold all the way around, guys, all the, all the way around the teapot. What dedication. And she did something really clever on here that I, I want to do that. I want to do that. And I'll share it with you in the middle, in, 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 the, in the middle, in a little bit. It says sparkle and shine on this pennant right here. She has a shaker in the back. Uh, of the the bear and we had to have a bear so here is her bear and he's wearing that funky hat and then it's she, he's wearing a bow right here made out of vellum and she's got a gold doily back here in the back I hope I don't miss anything and then she has these banners hanging right here yes it says drink me and then see the little bottle in blue that's what this little bottle is supposed to be that that potion <laughs> <laughs> and it is a shaker like you can see them I'll go slow hopefully you can see them move so let's get into the teapot guys I want to make sure and this is on dimension guys so it's not flat it does have dimension let me show you the back here is the back the information right here this was tucked in the back in this back pocket um, she's got this intricate uh, lace pocket are you kidding me these puppies are gonna start again guys and uh, she does have the stitching going along the edges again in the metallic gold also in this pocket right here like she did a lot of sewing on this and this just her information just slides right into that pocket so I'm gonna leave it there and um, let's open this up and she's got this little uh, like the tag to the T that's hanging down. Uh, it. I don't know if it was tucked in somewhere, but um, there it is. So let's. I want to. I want to share this with you. Look at this. How clever is that, huh? How clever you are. Look at this. Is that? That's super cool. Uh, she's got the lid that comes out and the top to the lid for her teapot she made it into the bag topper for these uh, butterfly I believe one of them is a bag topper and then she also has either these are either bows or embellishments because they can fall in both categories because there are bows and they can be embellishments as well so but as we go through the swap we'll find out so let's open this up and um, what we got in here look at that how clever I really like that so here's one of her bag toppers it is a butterfly with the same paper line and somebody told me what that paper line was and I can't for the life of me I can't remember again uh, then it's got a yellow butterfly over it with the bling and pearls and then she has this uh, butterfly I believe this is just an embellishment guys not a bag topper so there it is with the striped blue paper and it's got glittered uh, white paper on the filigree piece and then she stitched it down the center. I hope you can see it with the metallic thread. And then here are the bows that are in the back. Like I said, I'm not sure if these are embellishments or her bows, but she's got them in blue. This one is in blue and then the top pieces are in the glittered iridescent white with a flat back right there and then this one the 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 the, um, the silhouette is in the glittered paper and then she layered it in the light blue so let's see uh, if that is her bows or let's see <laughs> is this your tag 
This might be her tag, guys. Look at how clever she is. Look at that. It says, eat me right here. This one says, daydream. And she made it out of vellum. And it, it's like a confetti. She has a, a shaker bits in here. And um, then she has a teapot, the teacup. She puts strips of washi in the back. And then the daydream right here with these enamel dots on the paper and everything coordinates so well and then she's got this hanging element as her tea tag and it's got a heart at the end how clever and let me see make sure I got everything okay that was all that was in the teapot and I'm gonna move the teapot aside and let's see Let me try and get a little bit organized, guys, so I can see what we're doing or what I'm doing. Here is another one of her uh, bag toppers. We had to have two. So her little cup one, I mean, her little butterfly one was number one. And then here's number two. And let's take this out of the bag. There is bag topper number two. You just take it off and fold it down the middle and you can see where it will fold up. And it is the heart bag topper. It does have stitching all the way around it. She used that beautiful paper with all the teacups on it. And then she has some uh, trim down at the bottom. Let me see. She's got this little trim at the bottom. I saw somebody just I uh, use this or gift it in one of, one of the swaps. But she's got these little tassels hanging at the bottom, the trim, and then she's got this, uh, this feels kind of like a, like a faux leather trim in the gold. And then she's got a little rose right here, a fabric rose. Then the teapot with the teacups and bling. She's got some little um, crochet pieces right here. And then she's got a little uh, die cut right here that says T for two with some little flat back pearls and then some bling. So that is bag topper number two. So there are her two bag toppers, her tag, her chunky charm, her embellishments, and she's got more embellishments over here, guys. Here are two more of her embellishments. So she did add extra embellishments. I believe, though, that these are her bows, guys, because I don't see any other ones. So I think those are her uh, bows. Whoop. And there is one of her... Let me see if I can reach this, guys. That's one of her embellishments. She created a... Um, a shaker and it is a teapot and look at that and she's got several layers there so you can see that it's got plenty of dimension and uh, she's got all different colors of, se of uh, sequence in there and she does have some little um, the, the micro beads she's got the little spoon right here with a little heart in it and then a bunch of these little flat back pearls a little flower with some leaves right here and a flat back in the center so that is embellishment number two yes embellishment number two because there is embellishment number one and here is embellishment number two and here is embellishment number three she made the little uh, banner pennant or like a little sign holder or banner holder and she used a little dowel rod and she used the pom-poms that have the iridescent foil in them uh, to to wrap it around look at that how clever and she did stitch guys all the way around this pennant I hope you can see it it is stitched all the way around and then she's got the little potion bottle right here and it says try me and then a little heart with magic and some flat back um, enamel dot, dots right there and it's got a little piece of trim up there so there is embellishment number three and then she added extra embellishments guys here are her extras let's go ahead and take these out and her theme again was Alice in Wonderland it says you're terrific we had to have some kind of tea sentiment so this one says you're terrific so these are all her sentiments I believe this one says you're my cup of tea and it's and she stitched again guys she did a lot of sewing on these 
Uh, my machine doesn't like paper and stuff like that. She's got flat back pearls and a flat back heart. And then she has this little tag right here that says tea time. Again, with the stitching around it and the bling all the way around framing the, the little sentiment. And then she's got the little gold leaf uh, vine trim with a flat back rose and a butterfly and some ribbon up here. Then she's got this die cut. And it says love at first sip and she's got a bunch of bling hearts, you know, just different colors to coordinate with her paper. And then here's another one. It's always time for tea. Another die cut and then she added flat back pearls to it. And then this one right here, it says Merry Unbirthday. <laughs> it's got a little party hat with a uh, pom pom as the, the tip on the hat. And then she's got, she stitched around this one as well, guys. And she has some little flowers in different colors. She's got a gold glittered heart. And she's got the little leaf trim right underneath it with the flat back uh, gems right here and a flat back heart. So here are all her tea themed sentiments. And then she included a little uh, bag. It says, find you always be you and again it's from the same paper line she's got a little piece of trim right here uh, to tie a bow right here but it doesn't come off it's it's uh, closed <laughs> look at the queen of hearts <laughs> the chocolate she added some chocolate to go she did everything perfectly with her theme so here's another uh let me leave it out so there it is, guys. There is her um, one of her goodies. And then she sent a little pouch that has another teacup. And again, she stitched all the way around it. So let's get into this one. And she's got, here's the teacup, guys. And there you can see, hopefully you can see the stitching better on this one than on the other ones. Uh, depending on the color, it's hard to see, but it's a little teacup with the saucer. She's got a little spoon right here, some little uh, die cuts right here in the gold glitter. It looks like chunky glitter paper. And then she's got several layers right here on this flower that she created. And then she's got a bling in the center. And this one says, drink me, look at that. And here is that little potion bottle. Look at that, how clever. And then she uh, added a variety of different teas for everyone. Ooh, mango, strawberry. Ooh, that sounds good. And then here is the back to her cup. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Great job, Miss Brittany. And she, you can tell, guys, that she gave her swamp a lot of thought, uh, trying to stay within uh, her theme and uh, she did a good job executing uh, the Alice in Wonderland theme. Let me try and tuck this back in. Look at how clever that is. Thank you so much, Miss Brittany, for playing. I really appreciate that you created one for me. Guys, I will link her channel in the description box. Be sure to go over there and show her some love. If she does have a video response to this swap, I will link that video in the description box. Thank you so much, Miss Brittany, for playing. Don't go away, guys. One more, one more in this group. Up next, guys, we have Miss Andre Gold, and she does have a YouTube channel, so I will link her in the description box, and this is what her swap looks like. It, it looks like she created some teapots, and then after she put everything in her teapot, she put the whole thing in a bag so they wouldn't migrate. Thank you, Miss Andre, for doing that. Uh, sometimes I get a little confused when things are kind of scattered and it's I kind of have to figure out what goes where anyway uh, they're not all exactly the same it's the same style but different paper I'm not sure what paper line it is but uh, she did create one for me so we will definitely be able to get into them and here is a pink one and here is the back to it and um, I believe I believe yes this one is the one that she created for me because she did make me a card. So we will be able to get into her swap. Let me move these 
and that way we can um, we can get into her swap. Let's see what Miss Andre created. And I'm just gonna take it out of here. I love these big bags because usually when I buy shred and the bag rips, I have to find some type of bag to put it in and that I save these for that very reason. So this is Miss Andre's uh, teapot and I'm gonna move this and she did send me a card so I'm gonna leave this here so you can look at it while I read the card really, really quick. Look at that card. Isn't that pretty? Oh, uh, she says she was sick, but look at her. She pulled it through. She got it done. <laughs> She's worried about being a day late. <laughs> if you only knew, Miss Andre. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Andre. Um, anyway, here is the teapot that she created. And um, she put every all her embellishments are inside her teapot. She did uh, put little uh, lace trim right here, and then a strip of bling going across the right here, and it says T all the way around. She's got a little bow right here with a button, and then this says uh, March 2019 Ida's Tea Party from Andre Gold. I love this uh, die. And then she's got it attached with this a very pale pink, uh, like a baby pink um, eyelash trim. And here is the back. You can see the trim a little bit better right there. Oops. And let's get into her swap, guys. I'm going to take everything out so I can see. And she um, looks like she wrapped it all the way around, guys, so these would nothing would come out. And you just take this little strip uh, tag off. And I'm going to take everything out. And let me share her teapot with you. Here is her teapot. She left it uh, quite a bit open so that way she could get everything in there. Sometimes I know when we're creating, we kind of get carried away and then we need the extra room. I feel you, Miss Andre. And then here is the back. <laughs> I do that all the time. So let me share her tag with you. Here is Miss Andre's tag, and it says, uh, Brutiful. Brutiful, you're brutiful. Like brew, as in brew your tea. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Um, hear that? I love that. And then she's got uh, several layers. Because it's, it's pretty sturdy. It's it's a little thick. Not to, Maybe she's got some uh, lightweight chipboard in between. And then she has white paper in the back. And she cut it again in white and edged it in the very pale pink. I love that color pink. That might be a Tim Holtz color. And then it says Brutiful. And it's got the teacup on dimension. It's got a doily underneath the teacup. And then some printed paper. She's got this beautiful little bow right here with a heart bling. Here's her hanging element in the pink and the white. Great job, great job. And then it had these extra little, look at this beautiful uh, die cut. I will add that to my notebook. And this feels like, this has more than one layers. This has more, cause it feels pretty sturdy. It's pretty, it's not flimsy whatsoever. So she did several layers. And here is one of her sentiments. You are brew to full. And she's got the little tiny, ooh, those are pretty little butterflies and little bitty bow. She etched it in pink. So here are her sentiments. We had to have a sentiment. And it, this one is a heart with a little uh, pearl bow. And it says, I want daisies in my hair, tea in my hand, and sunshine in my heart. Amen to that. <laughs> so that's one of her sentiments as well. And then we had to have a bow. So I believe this is her bow, and she did that butterfly bow that everybody, uh, I believe, was hauling this. So let's take it out. There is her bow. Look at that, how pretty that is. It looks like she embossed the bu butterfly with a, a an embossing folder. It does. Seriously, Ida? I'm all butterfingers today, guys. I don't know what's going on with me. 
here is uh, it does have like the loop down here you can see the loop so you can actually fluff this uh, bow back up and she added stickles all the way around the edge of the butterfly and she's got some bling right there and she like I said she did emboss the but butterfly and she already added the dimensional stickers that way you can put it wherever you want to adhere to it already has the tape you don't have to do anything extra and then here are her tea bag, uh, her tea bags. I always say that, guys. Her bag topper, her bag topper. So let's get into this one. Here are her bag toppers. Uh, let me see. She has them on here with a dimensional. Let's see if I can take it off gently. Gently, Ida. Here's one of her bag toppers. It is in a lavender uh, polka dotted paper. She's got a doily right here in the corner and then the little teacup and the teapot. She's got a layered flower right here and then this little acrylic bow. So that is bag topper number one. It's the heart one. That's beautiful. I like that. And then here is bag topper number two. And they're coming off, guys. They're not staying stuck to that. Just be careful, and it comes off uh, fine. So here is bag topper number two. And she uh, used the same bag topper. She's got a little envelope that has, like, like somebody was scribbling on the envelope. I like that. And she's got a little bow right here. And then she's got this little uh, uh, table with the chairs. I like that. That might be cottage cuts. I'm not sure. And there is bag topper number two. And then we had to have a tassel. So let me get this out of here and share with you her tassel her that she created. Not a tassel, a charm. Um, she created this paper tassel and she added bling, lace and bling around it. Uh, lace and pearl trim around it. And then she's got this bead right here that has all the iridescent uh, crystals on there. She's got a pink rondelle, then a pink bead on top. And then she's got this beautiful little teapot hanging on top. And she did silver as her findings. Uh, so it's got a silver lobster claw clasp. Great job. That's her tassel. I mean her um, charm. And then she include, and then she included, yeah. Uh, then she, uh, here are her embellishments. And let me take these out of the bag and we can have a better look. Here is embellishment number one. It is an altered paper clip. She's altered a copper colored paper clip. There is the little uh, banner that's on the on here, and she's got some tool, iridescent tool down here, like it's got iridescent glitter, some cheesecloth, and then she's got this little teacup. It says tea, teammates. Is it teammates? Yep, teammates. And then she's got a little bowl right here with a flat back pearl. There is embellishment number one. Let me see where can I put it. And embellishment number two, we had to have some type of teddy bear somewhere. And this is where she added her teddy bear on this little fan. This is clever. A little fan, you know, they used to take those little fans and fan themselves. They have air conditioner the way we do now. Uh, she's got this fan that she created and she did edge the edges in pink and she added her little teddy bear up there. She's got a little uh, satin ribbon bow right here with a little, uh, looks like a clay rose and some uh, pearls on the bottom. That's embellishment number two. And then embellishment number three is a shaker. It's a little teapot shaker. And she the, the shaker part is in the shape of a heart. And she's got the tiniest uh, little sequence mix in there in a variety of colors. She added this little flat back, uh, flat back, this little uh, flat bow, paper bow right there, and then a flat back pearl. And there's the back. So that is embellishment number three. Now she also included, um, this little uh, 
pouch there and I love this actually this is kind of country looking but I like it my sister would love this and she's got the little cups with the teapot and then you open it up and it has some tea I like that so she created this little uh, holder for her little tea bag here's a cup of tea especially for you to take away the chill and warm you through and through I like that so she added that, and then she added a goodie, and this is what it's wrapped. It's wrapped in tissue. Again, she's got another one of her little butterfly bows, so you'll be able to, if you take this one off carefully enough, you'll end up with two bows from this swap. So let's open it up, and let's see what is in here. She included a stamp set from LDRS, and it is a sentiment stamp. It says, you look marvelous, darling, classy, and fabulous. I like that. Let's dance, sing, and sparkle. Yep. Kick up your heels and have fun. Yes. I like these. I don't have very many sentiments stamps. Thank you, Miss Andre. I'm really going to enjoy playing with these. So this is her goodie, guys. A sentiment stamp from LDRS. Thank you so much, Miss Andre, for playing. Thank you for creating one for me. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Guys, I'm going to link Miss Andre's channel in the description box. She does have a, a video up for this. I believe I saw a video response. And again, thank you for playing, Miss Andre. I want Andre, I want to thank all the ladies for playing and for creating one for me. Make sure to show them some love, guys. I hope everyone has a great day and God bless. Bye.